Hello and welcome back. My name is Fake Fairy Tale, and today I'd like to give you a brief recap on what's been going on the past few months and what I'm planning to do in the weeks to come. As you probably have noticed, I haven't been very active neither on my Patreon nor Reddit or YouTube, and that's because life has been very busy. I bought a house, I got engaged, which is crazy if you ask me, and I have also been working on some side projects that were just really busy, just like work. I lost a lot of time uh, doing other things I like, and I didn't have that much time to work on Dungeon Draft or Battle Maps in general. I also hit quite a bit of a map making burnout, which caused me to not enjoy map making as much. And uh, unfortunately, that has really given off on the amount of videos that I can record as well. In addition to that, I also am not sure what new videos to make for Dungeon Draft. I have made quite a few videos on the topics that I think should be explained. I have some tips and tricks videos, we have some videos on shadows, and we have some tutorial series addressing all different kinds of things, and that leaves me kind of empty for new content. So if there's anything specific you'd like to see me explain or do, please feel free to write it down in the comments below, and I'll see if we can pick it up and make a video about it. So that brings me to the next part, what I want to do the coming weeks. A few days ago, I ran into a post on Reddit by Dyson Logos. Dyson Logos makes both flat and isometric battle maps. He also writes sections of lore with them. It's really cool. As you can see, he has quite a lot of things going on. And yeah, I definitely go check that out if I were you. I'll link his Patreon in the description below. The post, however, I was referring to is this one right over here, the Spore Events. I really like this idea and after reading his lore I decided I want to make a small, relatively short, low level adventure, something which can be played right after Matt Colville's Delian Tomb for example, or perhaps the Lost Minds of Fenelon. I'll link to the post in the description as well so that you can check out what I'm talking about. The story goes a bit like this. Deadly mushrooms are slowly taking over the bosk Verd forest, killing off trees and undergrowth. The spores seem to be coming out from the nearby sulfurous geothermal vents that were used as a sacred healing site. In Dyson Logos' version, the tribe who deemed the vents a holy and sacred place doesn't have the manpower and proper gear to address the problem and require a group of adventurers to come and save the day. In my version, however, I'm not sure if I want to approach it the same way. I think I'm gonna go with a local town or village. So they need a group of adventurers to come in and save the day, helping them with the infestation of the spores and the mushrooms. They have heavy waxed leather suits that are prepared by the townsfolk that they can put on and will help them protect themselves when they go down into the vents. And that sums about everything up. So I reached out to Dyson Logos to make sure that he was okay with me making this into a little adventure and he was really kind. He said go for it and well now we're here. What I want to make is a complete package including battle maps, lores, monster and well everything you need to make sure that you can run this adventure. I'll document the whole process video by video, go over specific topics, tell you guys and explain to you guys what I did, how I made the monsters, why I did something and of course also make a few maps on the battle maps that I create and how I go about it. I want to put out a little disclaimer though, I'm not an expert at game design, I have about two years of Dungeon Master experience and that's mainly in homebrewed content because I have preferred doing that from day one, even though I did play a few adventures in groups of friends. It will most likely take a few tries to get everything sorted, but I'm really excited to try this and well, we'll just see how everything goes as we progress. Right now, I believe we need the following things. We need a place for the adventure to start, a village, hamlet, or maybe a tribal village or a little encampment. We flesh that out as well with some characters and some NPCs that we can use. We need about two to four battle maps for the cave itself. We need a region map. We need monsters to go with it. We need some additional lore because I like the lore that Dyson Logos has made, but I have some inspiration for some things to add or change that I would really like to try, which also goes hand in hand with me creating a few monsters, and that's something that I have wanted to try for a long time as well. And last but not least, we need some cool rewards at the end. That's it for now folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's relatively short, but I'm glad that I can put something out there and uh, let you guys know that I haven't forgotten. Also, please feel free to let me know what you think of this idea in the comments. I noticed that my channel has steadily grown, even though I haven't posted much. A lot of new subscribers come in, I think 
from the last video I posted, I've increased from like 400 to 700 subscribers, which is really cool. I want to thank you guys for coming and subscribing anyway. Also, please don't forget to subscribe and ring the sub notification bell to stay up to date on all my videos. And thanks for listening. See you again in the next video.